Hey everyone, this is John from Motionworks. Recently I had a question in the 3D Modelers Slack room about how to sharpen something like this in Cinema 4D. You can see there's some very specific curvature in here. And when you add this under subdivision, you can see these corners, these internal corners are quite rounded. And if I was to come in here and grab my knife tool, just press KK and make a cut, you can see I can start to sharpen up that corner, but I'm affecting the curvature here and I'm adding quite an obvious bump to it. And this is a common problem when doing sharpening under subdivision when you're working with curvature. How do you add your control cuts but not affect the curvature? That's what I'm going to show you now. Now, first of all, I'm going to work in symmetry because I only want to do half the work. Anytime you have a symmetrical object like this, you should be working in symmetry. So I'm going to select the object, go into edge mode, press UB for ring selection and select that ring and then MM to connect those edges. And that gives me a cut right down the middle into polygon mode. Just select the polygons I don't need. Now I could delete those, but that would leave some points which I'd have to optimize. I'm using HB modeling tools, so I'm just going to click the delete button here, HB delete, and that will delete the polygons and delete any points. You can see if I go into point mode, there's no points there. Okay, so with that selected, hold down Alt, click on symmetry, and that drops it into symmetry. And now I can just focus on this side. Okay, so first of all, I want to go back into edge mode. UB again for ring select, select those edges and select these edges. Come down to edge cut, click, click. And under scale, I'm just going to scale those up. And that's a quick way to add some cuts in there. Okay, so now come back into polygon mode and I want to select this polygon and this polygon. And I could use the inner extrude tool but you can see the problem with the inner extrude is that it adds these edges in here, which I'd have to clean up. So a great trick that I learned from Toby Pittman in making it look great hard surface modeling tactics for Cinema 4D is to use the slide tool. So edge tool and just select these guys. Select the slide tool, hold down control and now we don't have that problem with those extra edges. Okay, so next I'm going to grab the knife, KK, and I'm going to join this point to this point. Press space to drop that. Pick it up again by pressing space and create a cut here and a cut here. And you can see working in symmetry means I only have to do half the work. So now I want to do a borrowed edge technique, which I also learned in making it look grade 11. Fantastic for creating sharpening under subdivision. Press space to pick up that knife again. And I want to go to this point and just do a cut down here. Drop it. Pick it up again. You could press escape, but I find using the space bar to drop the tool is a little bit easier. My hand's down here on the space bar. KL for loop select. Create another cut here. Another cut here. And now I want to remove some of these edges. So I want to get rid of this one, this one, this one, and this one. And this one, and this one. And dissolve. Same here. This and this. Here, here. Here and here. Okay, nice. I'm just going to grab my slide tool. Still in edge mode. Just tighten that up a little bit. Same with these ones. And the same here. Okay, so we've used this looping method to allow us to create this borrowed edge cut and we're not affecting the curvature. Almost finished. Now I just need to add a couple more cuts just to tighten up the edges here and here. KL. Cut. 
and cut. And that's everything done as far as the topology goes. So next I want to add some thickness and for that I'm going to use the extrude tool. But before I do that, I'm going to click on symmetry and just make sure that clamp points on axis is turned on and delete polygons on axis is also turned on. That's going to make sure that extra polygon is not added on the side when I do the extrude. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to make sure I'm in poly mode, grab the extrude tool and I want create caps to be on just extrude that up and you'll see here if I turn off symmetry now that we don't have that polygon on the side another handy tip from making it look grade 11 okay so I just have to add a couple more control cuts so once again edge mode UB and we can use edge cut once again here click scale and select symmetry option click on the subdivision surface and there we go so we've got some nice sharp corners there and we haven't affected the curvature just render that looking good okay so that's it for now definitely check out making it look grade 11 hard surface modeling tactics for cinema 4d if you are serious about learning to model correctly in cinema 4d but for now this is john from motionworks have fun be creative and get modeling